we are looking at uh, chapter number 13 which is kinetic theory we'll talk in brief about this kinetic theory so there are certain assumptions of kinetic theory of gases that is every gas they consist of extremely small particles these are known as molecules now these molecules of uh, these gas they are all are identical means they are similar but if we talk about some other gas they will be different so different gas have different molecules but same gas has molecules which are identical to one another the molecule of gas are identical spherical rigid and perfectly elastic point masses their point masses they are perfectly elastic rigid spherical identical now their molecular size is negligible if you compare the intermolecular distance between them which is order of 10 to the power minus 9 meter the speed of the gas it can be zero it can be infinity so it lies between zero and infinity the distance covered by molecules between two successive collisions means when they strike one another so the collisions so distance being traveled between two successive collision is known as free path and if you take mean of all these free path this is known as mean free path so the number of collisions which is happening per unit of volume of that gas or inner gas is always constant there is no attractive or repulsive force acting between these gas molecules when we talk about gravitation this gravitation to extremely attract or attraction among the molecules is ineffective why because of the small masses and the high speed of these molecules gas laws assuming this uh, permanent gas to be ideal first see these are ideal so we are assuming them to be ideal it was established it was being known that the gases irrespective of their nature they obey certain laws ideal gases they obey certain laws the first law is the Boyle's law now Boyle's law says that at constant temperature temperature is constant the volume of given mass of a gas is inversely proportional to the pressure you can say p into v is constant so p1 v1 equal to p2 v2 equal to p n v n so we have this p this v so if there is a pressure and volume graph when p increases v decreases when p see the when v increases the p decreases and vice versa charles law at constant pressure means if p is constant the volume v of a of a given mass of gas is what it is directly proportional to its absolute temperature so you say v is directly proportional to this temperature so v by t is a constant so v1 by t1 equal to v2 by t2 equal to vn by tn is equal when we talk about a constant pressure the volume at this constant pressure of a given mass of gas it decreases or increases by this amount 1 by 273.15 so we have an expression also of its volume at 0 degree centigrade for each 1 degree centigrade rise or fall in temperature so volume of the gas at t degree centigrade will be what vt equal to v0 1 plus t by 273.15 this v0 is the volume of the gas at 0 degree centigrade gay lussacs or reynolds law so at constant volume the pressure of a given mass of a gas is directly proportional to the temperature this is gay lussacs or reynolds law that is p is directly proportional to t we know that this v by t is also constant so if we combine them or we can take this t downwards or in the, in the denominator so this p1 by t1 equal to p2 by t2 equal to pn by tn so at constant volume the pressure p of a given mass of a gas it decreases and increases it increases or decreases by this number 1 by 273.15 of its pressure at 0 degree centigrade for each 1 degree centigrade rise or fall in the temperature so there is a relationship when the volume of a gas at t degree this p t will be equal to p0 1 plus t by 273.15 where this p0 is the pressure of the gas at 0 degree centigrade avogadro law avogadro now stated that equal volume of all gases 
सी इक्वल वॉल्यूम ऑफ ऑल गैसेज अंडर सिमिलर कंडीशन ऑफ टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर दे कंटेन इक्वल नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स so this statement these are known as avogadro hypothesis so when we say avogadro law avogadro number the number of molecules which are present in 1 g mole of a gas is can be defined as the avogadro number so this is n this a is subscript stands for na avogadro number this is equal to 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 per g mole at standard temperature pressure at normal temperature pressure T equal to 273 Kelvin. P is one atmosphere. 22.4 liter of this gas has how many molecules? This number, Avogadro number, 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 molecules. So one mole of any gas at this STP will occupy how much of volume? 22.4 liter of volume. Standard or perfect gas equation. So gas. Which will obey all the laws, or gases which are obeying all the laws in all condition of pressure and temperature, all condition condition of pressure and temperature, these are called as perfect gases. So equation of perfect gas, P V equal to N R T. This P is pressure, V is volume, T is absolute temperature, R is the universal gas constant, and N is of course some somewhere it, you can see it it as mu also. This is the number of moles of the gas. Here the R is the universal gas constant. Which is equivalent to R equal to 8.3 joule per mole per Kelvin. Real gases. Now, these real gases they somewhat deviate from the ideal gas laws because they are not ideal gases; they are real gases. So, real gases in this real gas molecules attract one another. Also, in the real gas, the molecule occupy a finite volume. When we say real or Van der Waals gas equation, this P plus A by V square. This multiplied by v minus b is equal to R T. This A and B are called Van der Waals constant. The pressure due to an ideal gas is given by. We also have one mole of an ideal gas. So pressure due to one mole of an ideal gas and pressure due to an ideal gas is P equal to one by three dot m n by v dot c square. This is one by three rho c square. We'll talk about all these uh, values. And for one mole of uh, An ideal gas P is one by three m by v c square. So this m is here one mass of one molecule, and here is the number of molecules. This v is the volume of the gas, and c of course is the root mean square. That is c is c one square plus c two square till c n square by n. This is the RMS root mean square velocity of the gas molecule, and of course this capital M is the molecular weight of the gas. So if this P is the pressure of the gas, E is the kinetic energy per unit volume. We know that P is equal to two by third of this E. Pressure is equal to two by third of this energy, energy kinetic energy per unit volume. Kinetic energy of a gas. So average kinetic energy of translation, translation per molecule of a gas is given by E. e E equal to three by two kT. K here is the Boltzmann constant. T is of course the temperature. Now, when we talk about average kinetic energy of translation per mole, when we talk about per mole, this will be K by mole per mole. So this becomes R. This R is universal gas constant. So average kinetic energy of translation per mole of a gas is given by this equation. And for a given gas kinetic energy, E is directly proportional to T. E one by E two is equal to T one by T two for a Given gas, the kinetic energy is is directly proportional to the temperature. You can say the root mean square RMS velocity of gas molecules is given by C equal to under root three R T by M. This R and T and M are having their the symbol usual meanings. See, the C is directly proportional to under root T, that is temperature. Under root of temperature, C is directly proportional to oh inversely proportional to one by under root M. There is this this value. And of course, we have the Boltzmann constant K is given by R by n. R is what? It is ideal gas constant. N is what? Avogadro number. The Y value of Boltzmann constant is 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 28. We also have the average speed of molecules. That is V average. You can say V with bar. This is given by under root 8 kT by pi m, or you can say 8 RT by pi m. This is the average speed. Now we have most probable speed. We already saw about the root mean square velocity or speed. We have seen about the average speed. Now we have most probable speed of the molecules 
and this is given by v most probable mp m v sub mp is most probable it is given by the root 2 kt by m 2 into r into t by m so this average is in between rms and most probable velocity there are important points which we got from here previous discussion with the rise in temperature with the rise in temperature the rms speed of a gas molecule increases with the increase in the molecular weight rms speed of a gas will decrease so they because they are inversely proportional rms speed of gas molecule is order of km per s that is at normal temperature pressure for hydrogen gas if you want to compute this will be rv rms 3 rt by m this these are the three the r is 8.31 t is your temperature 273 and this is normal temperature pressure that is why we have m as for hydrogen 2 into 10 to the power 3 so rms speed of a gas molecule this does not depend on the pressure of the gas if the temperature is remaining constant because the speed is directly proportional to rho which is the boil boil the boil's law so if pressure is increased n times the density will also increase by n times but vrms root mean square velocity remains constant degree of freedom so the degree of freedom for a dynamic system is what is the number of directions in which it can move freely or the number of coordinate required to describe completely the position configuration of the system so this is the degree of freedom how many directions it can move this is uh, denoted by capital n the degree of freedom say for a system can be given by uh, f or n you can represent this 3a minus r what a is this is the number of particles in the system and what is r these are the number of independent relations we can make so again the degree of freedom of a, any dynamic system is number of the direction this is very important number of directions in which it can move freely and you can say number of coordinates see this r is the number of independent relations for what for computing the number of coordinates which are required to completely describe or completely position and configuration define the position and configuration of the system so degree of freedom for monoatomic gas it is 3 for diatomic gas it is 3 uh, 5 sorry for non linear triatomic gas it is 6 and for linear triatomic gas it is 7 specific heat of a gas at constant volume at constant pressure at constant volume it is given by f by 2 r at constant pressure it is given by f by 2 plus 1 into r so the ratio of specific heat if you take the ratio of these two uh, at constant pressure this this by this constant pressure by constant volume is given by gamma 1 plus 2 by f mean free path the average distance which is traveled by a molecule between two successive collision means molecules are there if they collide like this so two successive collision the average distance traveled by molecule between these two successive collision is called mean free path or gamma so mean free path is defined by a relation like this gamma is equal to kt by under root uh, 2 pi sigma square p here the sigma is the diameter of the molecule this p is the pressure t is the temperature and k is the boltzmann constant so you see here that for mean free path this uh, this is related with temperature and this is inversely related with the rows so this is not you can take it as gamma here this is gamma this is gamma gamma is directly directly proportional to t it is inversely proportional to the pressure brownian motion when we have a continuous uh, random motion of a particle of say microscopic uh, size suspended in air or any liquid this is called the brownian or mi microscopic motion so this brownian suspension motion is both you can observe it in liquid as well as gases so this brownian motion is why it is due to unequal bombardment of the suspended particle by the molecules of the surrounding medium let us summarize the kinetic theory the ideal gas equation which connects the p v and t the boys law the charles law etc if we combine them we get pv equal to mu rt this also equals to kb this k sub v and t this mu is the number of moles n is the number of molecules r is the uh, r and kb are of course the constant r is the universal gas constant and this n is the uh, kb actually kb is the uh, your boltzmann constant and this kb is given by r by na universal gas constant by the avogadro number 
So this comes out to be this number. So real gases satisfy the ideal gas equation only approximately and more so at low, low temp pressures and high temperature. So the kinetic theory of ideal gas is given by 1 by 3 nmv square. This n is the number of density of molecule. m is the mass of the molecule. This, this is the mean uh, of squared speed. Uh, com if you combine or combine with the ideal gas equation, it will give you a kinetic interpretation of the temperature. These are all the different, uh, uh, you can say, values or expression we are going to use. So this is going to tell us that the temperature of a gas is your measure of average kinetic energy of a molecule. So independent of the nature of the gas or molecule. So if mixture of gases at fixed temperature, the heavier, mo heavier molecule will have lower average speed. The translation kinetic energy E is given by 3 by 2 Kb into Nt will give you an another relation which is Pv equal to 2 by 3 E. So the law of equipartition of energy, it is stating that if a system is in equilibrium at absolute temperature T, the total energy will be distributed equally in different energy modes of absorption and the energy in each of this mode is given by half Kb into T. Half Kb is Boltzmann constant, T is temperature. Now if we talk about translation and rotational degree of freedom for each of them, this corresponds to one energy mode of absorption and it has energy half into Kb into T. So each vibrational frequency has two modes of energy, kinetic and potential and when we talk about this, the corresponding energy will be equal to twice of half into K into B which gives you Kb into T half kb into t that is twice of half is kb into t. If you take the law of equipartition of energy, the molar specific heat of gas, this can be determined and the values are in agreement with the experiment values of specific heat of several gases. So this agreement we can improve by including vibrational modes of motion. The mean free path L, this is the average distance which is covered by a molecule between two successive collisions. Here this n is the number density and d is the diameter of the molecule. So this is a brief introduction and a theory of the chapter a kinetic theory. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.